Hello everybody, Amic Levels here, and welcome back to map number three of War Salona. Should I be saying War Salona? Okay. Mm, so it's so really it's more yeah. never mind, forget it. Alright, so we have not seen this combat shotgun uh has been the only tier two weapon that I have seen. And we're in map three of four, so I would expect to start seeing tier two weapons soon, if not in the uh, in the safe room there. But that's all right. So so far, I mean, we haven't heard a lot of uh, flavor dialogue stuff, kind of things that that give the experience. Um, what do you call it? Uh, flavor. There you go. Flavor dialogue, yeah. Uh, you know, like no Ellis rambling on about his buddy Keith, or uh, you know, no stories of Nick and Rochelle complaining at each other and stuff like that, right? None, none, none of that has been going on. Um, that's a uh, an important part <laughs> of Left 4 Dead, I would I would say. The uh, I did I did like the subway portion. Of the last map. What in the world? That's probably weird shadow due to these custom models or something like that. Uh, so far, there we haven't really heard. The, the soundscape is kind of bare. Uh, there's like a, a zone-wide generic ambient, which is the kind of the windy, gloomy kind of stuff going on right here. But there hasn't really, like, like these things, like in official, in uh, Valve campaigns, you know, th these things have like a hissing sound and stuff, so the soundscapes are rather not there. Or they're bare enough that it seems like there's nothing there. Yes, uh, yeah, let's throw them all top here. Oh, what else? Um, what else am I complaining about? Uh, lighting. There hasn't really. I mean, the areas have been lit, so that's that's good, like the indoor areas and stuff. Um, but like lighting with the intention of leading the player hasn't doesn't seem to have been much of a consideration. There's there's been some places that it seems like lighting was set up that way, but it's been rare. Like this one, like this area right here. I have I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, the barrier's that way, so I can't go that way, but I don't know if I'm supposed to get over this wall into that area, or or there, or there, or anywhere, right? I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, and uh, that might be just a wider <laughs> uh, systematic problem? Not really a systematic problem, a, a wider problem than, than lack of lighting, because I don't really know where I'm supposed to go now. I don't see where I'm supposed to go. It's also really kind of no landmarks, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Take that, you blood bag. Whoa! It's like one of those punchy clown punch things. Alright, I'm done. As soon as we can get out of here. Where am I supposed to go? Looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. Seriously, this is ugh. We got a Spray paint decals, lighting, you know, a barrel fire right there. That's all it would take, and I would I would be so much less derpy about this, but you know, all that stuff just there's there's no reason for a for a player to get 
stuck for how long has it been? Five minutes and not really know where I'm supposed to go. It's not... Not good. Not good. Exploring is different from not knowing where to go. Now let's try to get around this witch here. Hello. Are we going down again? We're going down again. All right. Ugh. Yep, I'm watching this zombie run back and forth. There's definitely nav problems in this thing. If I was to hazard a guess, I would say that, you know, they did the automatic generation of nav and there's so much rubble in here that it's probably interfering with uh, some ledges and stuff like it there's probably nav generating on these Reload. weird little tiny pieces of crap sticking out and they're not like jumping up properly and stuff that'd be my guess I'd have to open it and, and hammer to know for sure it's it like for the <laughs> when I complain about walking really slowly in a centimeter of water, and then I I walk normally in in this amount of water, that's what really kills me. That's it's like oh, okay, a centimeter. <laughs> it's just it's um what's it called? It's called cognitive dissonance. It's uh, the feeling in your mind that something is not quite right here. And unfortunately, I know exactly what that thing is in those in those cases, but maybe other people get it as well. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to stop rambling now. Don't make water volumes that are, you know, if it's if it's less than say your knees it doesn't really need the the slowdown stuff it's not necessary uh, it's never necessary but it it makes no sense um i i think i would be able to navigate water like up to my ankles at a at a fairly normal speed ammo here. two ammo piles right next to each other again that is weird why can't i pick up there we go uh, you're never gonna see weapons placed that close to ammo piles in Valve campaigns because it took me like 10 seconds to pick that up. All right, good. Those are placed a bit too. Grabbing a shift, shot. drag, shift, drag. Gun. Yep, that's what was done there. I guess we're going this way. More ammo over here. Why are you hey, doing this? Here. Don't understand. Travel here. Um, should I get the sniper rifle? What do they have? They've all got the M16s. Let's do this. Okay, done with you. Hey, these ones just don't even have collision with me. These ones are... S nope, nerf is up still. I don't know what's going on with that then. Was that a uh, charger? Charging something? It was. You guys can take care of that. I'm gonna go look over here. Hello, rescue closet with the golf club. Doesn't look like I don't know where I'm going still. All right, we're not going into the fire, that's for sure. I haven't known where I've uh, been going for pretty much the entire mod. No, no goal has been established or anything like that. Let's 
Alright, I heard that. I think I'm coached, so I said let's get up to that street. Got a health kit here. Let's uh let's take that. Gotta heal. Can always use these. All good now. All good. Okay. More I'm ammo. Why it this almost feels like two different Having people made this map and the first map. Because and the first and second map, I was out of ammo pretty much the entire time. And all of a sudden, we've hit like five ammo piles here. I hope they're able to get up here before bad things happen. Good job, Nick. Good job. <laughs> Pick me up. I they're up on top, I think. Are we going to an airport? We've seen this uh, airplane for quite a while. All right, let's not hit that guy. No, there we go. Looks like we weren't the only people crashing today. That's been flavor text number two. Flavor text, flavor audio. Oh. Uh, I don't want to try to snipe all you people. There it is. Okay. Uh sure, just keep on keeping on, I guess. Are we going through the burning plane? This does not seem prudent. We gotta wait for smoke to clear. I haven't seen an extra pistol as well. I am I've been at one pistol ever since I accidentally picked up that policeman's nightstick. Open the hatch. There it is. Okay. So we gotta go through this emergency door. Thanks for that, Ellis. Finally, some lighting leading me. Behind us too. Hey, my bad. Reloaded. Um, is that alarm still going? I can't tell. I don't, it doesn't sound like it. I guess this is just a just a holdout here. This is pretty much the Swamp Fever airplane, I guess? Seems like it. They seem to be kind of stuck. I hear lots of running around and very few zombies actually getting up here. And yeah, they're, they're only... They should be able to jump up along this entire wing. It seems like they're only able to, they're only getting up on that one small portion there and this portion right here. And I guess there as well. But their nav stuff is definitely not, not as smooth as it could be. Are we, are we done here? Hey. 
can't hide from me. Oh my goodness, why is this still going? This isn't a rolling crescendo, is it? It doesn't It doesn't seem like it should be, but we've been we've been shooting things for quite a while here. Reloading. I'm reloading. Oh god, why? Okay, let's let's just freaking go. I'm I'm tired of this. This is like a rolling crescendo, and it's not explicitly really clear. This is shenanigans. I'm not enjoying this. Nick is dead, I guess. Player communication! Bears repeating, I suppose. Um, I'm assuming if I blow up this truck that it's not gonna kill that witch. I'm just gonna throw that. Yeah, the... The two smokers or two two hunters definitely definitely makes this a rolling crescendo. I don't know why. I don't know. I like knowing what I'm getting into, and uh, for that reason alone, I'm not digging this whole scenario. I guess that's what we're doing. Where 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 where's the charger? Where's this witch that's coming at me? I'm gonna go down from this witch. I remember seeing 12 minutes ago that I startled the witch. Shell needs to stop dying. Where? What am I doing? Right, should I just go this way? I kind of, I kind of just want to. Um, yeah, sure. Let's just, let's just go this way. Uh, yeah, not, not really, really not digging the, uh, this rolling crescendo that doesn't tell me it's a rolling crescendo, and it has none of the normal cues that tell me it's a rolling crescendo. So, that's gonna be the end of map three. Spoiler alert: it's a rolling crescendo. Um, as soon as Ellis dies, we'll be we'll be on our way to map number four, the finale of War Barcelona. They're not they're not punching Ellis, it appears. I'm gonna try to heal myself before Ellis dies and grab a health kit. Derpy AI. All right. Really, really did not like that. That was um that was that was janky. Join me next time. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.